Hi, this is Eric from longboxreview.wordpress.com. Happy New Comics Wednesday to you. I'm going to be doing a quick rundown of the, the comics that I'm getting this week, uh, plus a few other things I wanted to make note of. So first up, I'll be getting A1, the anthology series number four, with a great looking uh, Weirding Willows uh, dinosaur cover. So I, I like that. I'm not sure that I'm getting that cover because I haven't been getting the Weirding Willows covers because this this series there are three rotating or there are three stories in it and uh, they produce one cover for each of the series or uh, of the stories and uh, I've been not getting the Weirding Willow Willows one which is the entire reason that I got uh, or ordered this series in the first place. Uh, next up is Archer and Armstrong uh, number 13. Uh, see a pattern here dinosaurs in uh, uh, Avengers number 19 with a great looking reddish cover there with Captain Marvel on it. Batman Little Gotham number 6, my last issue of this series. And here's here's the uh, the title that I'm looking forward to reading the most from Dark Horse Comics, Brain Boy number 1. That just looks cool, doesn't it? And the finale to the Buffy season 9, number 25. Uh, with a great Phil Noto cover. One of the few Villains Month comics that I ordered, Green Lantern Mongol 23.2. Uh, one of the trades that I ordered that I'm getting this week, Hypernaturals Trade Paperback number 2, which I think is the, f the, the, this is the second half of the series. Which is too bad because I read the first trade and, and really like this story, so I'm sad to hear that this was canceled. Manhattan Projects number 14. And here's the minority, I mean the uh, Mighty Avengers number 1. Um, I took a chance on the um, New Avengers title from a few years back with Luke Cage as the driving force. Uh, with that group of heroes, and I was thoroughly entertained for several years, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this character and this group of characters next. The wonderfully eerie and gruesome Rachel Rising number 19. Look at that cover. That's just a, What Terry Moore does with, with a limited color palette with these covers has, has just been amazing. And my final issue of Red Sonja, if you uh, watched my video review from the the week of August 14th comics. Uh, you know that that uh, not been too impressed with this series. So this is my last issue. And uh, a few more things here, uh, just to let you know about. First of all, the East of West trade paperback number one uh, is coming out today. Uh, if you haven't read this series or just kind of looking for something new and different and interesting, uh, I encourage you to go pick this up. Along with the uh, Archer and Armstrong issue, uh, Valiant is coming out with Eternal Warrior number one. I'm not getting that, but uh, I know a lot of people are huge Valiant fans, and uh, this is a character that has been popping up in various Valiant books over the last year or so that I've been reading them. And for those that missed out on Collider, otherwise now known as Federal Bureau of Physics, uh, Vertigo is releasing a second printing of the number one issue, and I just might pick that up. And uh, along with number three that was that, that comes out this week, so I just have to find number two. And maybe I'll, I'll jump on the series right now, because I hear it's pretty good. And that is it. That's all the comics that I'm getting this week or that I wanted to mention to you. Let me know what you're getting. I'd love to hear about the books that you're reading or you think that I should read. So let me know. You can always email me at longboxreview at gmail.com or leave comments here. Happy reading. Bye-bye.